So in the case of translation, you can walk through things like term-based support, real-time training, model fine tuning. For generative, for little to create, you can walk through the, the generation speed, usage, cost, and content quality. Um, similar for audio text and image to text, which are relevant to our multimodal use cases. Um, you can see here that we have Amazon Transcribe, Google Cloud ASR, and OpenAI Whisper as our three providers for audio to text. Similar pros and cons list for different use cases. And then finally, uh, this is our Textract and Google Cloud Vision providers that we just chatted through on the slides here. So if I click edit, um, this is how you can configure one of these models. And so these access keys, you should be able to find directly in, in this case in your Amazon account. If not, our team is happy to help you with that. Um, and similarly here for Google Cloud Vision, you can just upload a credentials file um, and basically get your, your configuration going there. So if I go back home um, here, I will step into translate. And so here I can see that I can translate text document files, image files, audio files, and, and more. And so I will click into image for the demo today. And I'm actually going to send for human verification. And now I'll just start filling out this form. Again, this should be the same form for, for all of your transition workflows. And my provider here, I can choose between Amazon and Google Cloud Vision, which are the two that I've provided. If you've just provided the configuration for Amazon Textract, you'll just see Textract, same Google Cloud Vision. In this case, I have both because I'd want to be able to switch between the two for different workflows. Um, and in this case, I'm actually going to choose Google Cloud Vision. And then I can choose between all the little workflows that I have. So it could be Translate uh, or a combination of Translate Review and Customer Review or AI Plus Review. And then you can see here that my model was actually selected for English to French. So this is one of the models that I have. If I actually click this drop down, I can see all of the models I've created. And so this is my test model that I've created with built contextual AI as my engine, uh, but it could also be DeepL or Google Translate um, or any of the other providers that we have in our system. And again, this is where that uh, little to fine tuning layer comes in. And so while the little contextual AI is my underlying engine here, um, on top, I actually have my little model or a little data source that's actually um, providing uh, the uh, unique term bases and memories um, that are associated with my specific customer profile. And so uh, I can actually reuse that same data source across providers. So I could uh, use that data source for DeepL, Google Translate, or any of the other providers that we have in our system. And from here, I'm actually going to upload this image. So. For those are familiar, this is the, the first page of, of Harry Potter. And so you can see here that it's it's an image of a uh, of a page here. And so I can click upload. I have this file be uploaded here. And it'll just take a couple of seconds to run through. I can actually uh, check out the source file if I want to be able to compare. And then I can actually send this for translation. So now I click this for central translation and the job has now been created. It automatically takes me to the browse jobs page. And here I can see this is the AI day demo that I just created. Um, there's 166 words and this will now enter our translation workflow and go through the end end process. Um, and that is our multimodal demo.